Uh, today I'm working on the uh, wiring for uh, the uh, 4G63 uh, rotary valve engine project. Um, unfortunately it's not working. Maybe I'll get a little bit of help uh, in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, so some uh, stuff I found online. I've got uh, the, uh, I believe it's the MPI relay uh, right here. And uh, from this diagram I found online, I've got these two pins right here. Uh, I've got them connected to hot. I'm tapped into the wiring harness right here. I've got that a constant 12 volt uh, hot uh, to a 20 amp fuse. And i am uh, got everything grounded all the ground points and then the next thing I've done is I've taken um, pin 71 on the ECU I've got off of this uh, wiring diagram and I've got that uh, wired to a uh, start button for ignition hot and that's working uh, batteries low and then uh, pin 82 for the ignition switch. I've got that uh, to my switch here, wired hot, and that's wired directly into the uh, that wiring harness spliced in. Um, so when I do my uh, my test probe on the ECU here, I've, on pins 12 and 25. right here with my uh, switch on those are getting power as well as um, I've got constant power fed that's fused on a 5 amp fuse to pin what is it 80 pin 80 that's getting constant 12 volt power uh, non-switched um, so with that done, I expect to see the check engine light come on, and I expect uh, my OBD2 to work, neither of which happen. So for the um, check engine light, pin 36, I've got that wired up to an LED, but also if I probe that uh, with the test probe, I get nothing. So I can, uh, here's my LED right here. Um, ignition on, ignition off, no power, and I've I've probed that as well, so it's not uh, it's not my wiring. Um, so if you have, uh, if you have any idea what I missed, I would love to hear from you. Thanks, and hopefully uh, next video we'll have a little bit more progress.